Among the names that most intrigue us in the realm of celebrity life is Shamar Moore's. Moore has become a household name because of his unquestionable charm and faultless acting skills. But behind all the glamour and dazzle, there's an inquisitiveness that drives us to investigate the aspects of his success. We set out on a journey today to unravel the enigma surrounding Shamar Moore. We go deeply into the subtleties of his money and the lifestyle it affords. Join us as we go into the life narrative of American entertainment icon Shamar Moore, who has found success in both the entertainment business and the catwalk. Moore's net worth rose to $17 million as of April 2024. It's remarkable how much he's risen to fame. Moore, a California native, rose to fame as a model before deciding to pursue acting. He sprang to popularity in 1994 when he played Malcolm Winters in the long-running soap opera The Young and the Restless, which ran until 2005. After this accomplishment, he solidified his place in television history by portraying Derek Morgan on the beloved police procedural series Criminal Minds from 2005 to 2016, charming and brilliantly winning over fans worldwide. Moore began a new chapter in his career in 2017 by making an appearance in the CBS series SWAC, which allowed him to further showcase his variety as an actor. Away from television, he has acted in several movies, including Diary of a Crazy Black Woman, 2005, and The Brothers, 2001. Moore's artistic ability, which demonstrates his versatility across genres, has garnered him accolades throughout his career in addition to critical acclaim. He has received three nominations for Daytime Emmy Awards for his exceptional performance, and in 2000, he was awarded the Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series Trophy. In addition, his portrayal of Malcolm Winters earned him seven NAACP Image Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Daytime Drama Series, highlighting his impact on how African Americans are portrayed in the media. Furthermore, Moore's contributions to the entertainment industry have been recognized by several award organizations. Among them were nominations from the BET Comedy Awards and the Image Awards for his role in Diary of a Mad Black Woman. His win in 2015 for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Television Series for his work on Criminal Minds was another evidence of his enduring appeal with audiences. In addition to his acting career, Moore has dabbled in hosting, serving as the face of Soul Train from 1999 and 2003. Born in Oakland, California on April 20, 1970, Shamar Franklin Moore's background is as diverse as his skills, which highlights his adaptability even more. His mother Marilyn Wilson, a teacher, and father Sherrod Moore reared him with a varied cultural background. His father was African American, while his mother was from Roxbury, Massachusetts. Her family was French-Canadian and Irish. Marilyn left to work as a teacher in Bahrain and Denmark after earning a degree in mathematics. Moore's formative years were spent in Denmark and Bahrain, where he attended a private school in England until he was seven years old. Moore traveled with little Shamar along for the ride. The fact that his grandmother was born and raised in Quebec City, Canada, gave his cosmopolitan upbringing even more depth. The social issues of the time, such as the racial tensions and civil unrest that characterized the 1970s, had a role in the choice to leave the United States. The family initially settled in Chico, California, after returning to the country in 1977. However, they later relocated to Palo Alto, where Marilyn accepted a position at a clinic. Moore remained a brilliant athlete and scholar despite the changes. He attended Hillsboro, California's prestigious Nueva School before completing his high school studies at Palo Alto's Gunn High School. Because of his baseball abilities, Santa Clara University offered him an athletic scholarship, and he excelled as an outfielder and pitcher there. He eventually earned a communications bachelor's degree. Moore's breakout role on the CBS drama series The Young and the Restless, where he captivated audiences for over 10 years, launched his career in entertainment. Moore has experience in the performing arts. Moore's return to the show was short-lived, he had originally planned to leave in November 2004, but he ultimately waved farewell to the role in September 2005 after choosing to go on recurring duty. Feeling a sense of finality, he declared, my time with YNR is done, while reflecting on his departure in 2007. 
I have been Malcolm for the last eight years. Following his appearance in an episode of The Young and the Restless, Moore's career took off. Apart from being the presenter of Soul Train Syndicated Edition, he was involved in several other ventures and made his acting debut in the 2001 feature picture The Brothers. When Moore was chosen to play Detective Jesse Reese in the television series Birds of Prey in the early 2000s, his career took yet another positive turn. His record was bolstered by notable performances in films such as Motives and Diary of a Mad Black Woman. Moore also added a comic touch to the movie, having acted in the seat filler alongside Kelly Rowland and Dwayne Martin. However, it was Moore's portrayal of Derek Morgan in the original Criminal Minds ensemble that truly shot him to fame. His portrayal of the multifaceted character gained both critical and dedicated admiration throughout the length of the 11-season run of the program. Moore ventured into action-packed dramas with SWAT, a television program that draws inspiration from both the 1975 television series and the 2003 film, proving his versatility once again. Moore's engagement in the show underscores his enduring appeal to fans since he has been in six of its seasons and is set to appear in a seventh. Outside of television, Moore made a name for himself in the film business in 2021 with his appearance in Sonic the Hedgehog 2. His superfluous action hero roles in Paycom advertisements demonstrate that acting is part of his extensive skill set. Moore honed his modeling abilities before hitting the big screen. A feature of his art that is often overlooked. Moore joined DNA Model Management in New York City, and because of his amazing look, he was featured in the March 2009 issue of Men's Fitness. Humanitarian activities have long benefited greatly from charity. For almost a decade, he has cycled from Santa Barbara to Los Angeles in support of the National Multiple Sclerosis Society. Furthermore, Moore has contributed to the cause by donating a portion of the proceeds from his clothing line for females, which was named after his catchphrase from Criminal Minds. However, Moore's dedication to helping the poor goes beyond supporting MS research. Following the release of his most recent movie, The Bounce Back, Moore found a new purpose supporting Nadia Elia, his 15-year-old co-star. Nadia was diagnosed with stage 4 Hodgkin's cancer and is currently undergoing treatment at Children's Hospital Los Angeles, one of the Children's Miracle Network facilities. In response to Nadia's suffering in the millions of children who get care at CMN facilities annually, Moore launched the Give Back campaign. The purpose of this effort is to raise funds to support children who, like Nadia, are having difficulty recovering from illness or injury. Moore's projects highlight the value of giving back to the community and assisting those in need. Through efforts like the Give Back campaign, people are encouraged to share their own or loved ones' stories of resilience on social media along with donations to help children with medical challenges. In addition to improving the lives of sick children locally, donors to their Children's Miracle Network Hospital also support a global campaign. Apart from his engagement with CMN hospitals, Moore has provided backing to the Elton John AIDS Foundation, or EJAF. Since its establishment, Sir Elton John's organization has earned more than $225 million to support programs aimed at preventing HIV infection, combating stigma, and providing care services to those affected by the virus. Priority consideration for HIV prevention efforts that primarily target marginalized and vulnerable groups is provided by EJAF in its grant-making operations, along with the promotion of sexual health education for adolescents. Shamar Moore's dedication to charitable giving is a perfect illustration of the influence one may have when one uses one's position to bring about constructive change. Moore keeps striving to better the lives of those going through difficult times by collaborating with organizations like EJAF and CMN Hospitals, which give hope and support to marginalized communities. Personal Life Shamar Moore, a well-known actor, has garnered attention in both his personal and professional life. His romantic associations with several celebrities, including singer Tony Braxton and actress Halle Berry, have been the subject of gossip. Many people have been curious about these alleged links throughout time. Moore has struggled at home in addition to his romantic endeavors. Moore was highly impacted by the condition Maryland suffered from multiple sclerosis and was motivated to take action as a result. 
along with his criminal minds colleagues, more often participated in fundraising events for multiple sclerosis research. Maryland tragically passed away in February 2020, leaving Moore and his family to mourn her loss. Despite his philanthropic work, Moore experienced a setback in 2016. Criminal Minds was accused of embezzling more than $60,000 from Moore's company. Tisdale was accused of grand theft and was required to reimburse the money taken to stay out of jail. Despite his setbacks and successes, Moore's life narrative continues to captivate the audience. His dedication to assisting others and his resilience in the face of adversity serve as illustrations of his morals and character. We are grateful that you watched the entire video. Please share your thoughts in the area provided below. We hope you found this video useful. If you appreciate the material, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in some of the next videos. Bye bye.